Hello, my name is Eric Shocker with Shocker Accounting and Tax Solution. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about and show you how to uh, do fixed assets in QuickBooks. Um, we're going to do fixed assets and we're going to do recurring journal entries. So you don't have to do this journal, journal entry each month. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, you go to your chart of accounts. You, you can click here on your home page, the chart of accounts, or you can just or you can just hit control A. And as you can see my chart of accounts here, this is just a dummy company. It's not really a, a real company and their chart of accounts is kind of messy. But they have th they have these chart account numbers here. Now you can check to see if you have numbers or if you prefer numbers, you can just go to edit preferences, accounting, and then this tab company preferences and accounts these check box boxes uh, will show you uh, if you have uh, if you have uh, numbers associated or unless you want even if, if you want to associate numbers with your chart of accounts you can do that as well so what we're going to do is go, we're going to go ahead and create a fixed asset and you can just click anywhere on the screen right click and just go to new uh, click on this fix, fix asset major purchase and we'll actually show a little bit of description right here what they are building land machinery equipment vehicles so click on that hit continue and then account name you just go ahead we're gonna go ahead and name this uh, fixed assets uh, and that's uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to put a number on it this is gonna be the, the chart of account number 1600 save it and continue so as you can see we have 1600 right there so we're going to go ahead and add another one uh, fixed asset continue and we're going to name this one FA for fixed asset then it's going to be the description is going to be a 2010 Dodge truck and we're just going to number it 01 for this being the first fixed asset in the list. Click on sub accounts. You can just type in fixed assets or 1600. It's probably the easiest way, 1600 right there. Click that. Save and continue. Oh, oh we have to give it a number. We're just going to do it 1601. Normally you do 1610, 1620. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to do 1601. So as you can see, 1600, 1601 is below the parent account, which, make, which makes it nice and organized. And we're going to go ahead and add another account. So click right click, click new. Uh, we're going to do fixed assets. Now it's important to note when you're dealing with uh, QuickBooks, there is no accumulated depreciation account. You just make it up through the fixed asset menu. Uh, it's just a contra asset account so it's going to be a credit balance uh, so <clears throat> you can just do that by what I do is I just do uh, I name an account less accumulated depreciation like that make it look nice uh, and then enter sub account we're going to go do uh, 1600 again fixed assets and then this one's going to be we'll just do this one 1602 what the heck 1602 and that's going to show it right below below this this fixed asset now we're just going to add an expense account so we'll go ahead under here expense hit continue uh, the account name is going to be depreciation uh, depreciation expense vehicles sub account um, is going to be something depreciation amortization that's fine and we'll just do it. Uh, this one's 8400. We'll do 8470. Save and continue. 
Uh, now what we need to do, since we have depreciation expense, we have our contra asset accumulated depreciation, plus we have the fixed asset, is we need to add uh, asset balance for the fixed asset. And we can do that by writing a check. We're going to go ahead and write a check to Dodge Truck Company. Like that. Um, uh, we'll just do other because it's not a vendor, it's not a customer, it's not an employee, so always do other in that, that circumstance. Uh, $25,000. Um, we'll just do 2010 Dodge truck. There we go. Now, what we're doing here is we're, we're debiting an asset, which is our fixed asset, and then we're crediting the $25,000 in cash and paying Dodge Truck. So, what we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and find that 1600 account. And under that, as you can see, is that 1601 FA fixed asset 2010 Dodge Truck. So, we click on that. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this will be that um, and that should be it right there so that's going to go ahead uh, we didn't we didn't print that to checks uh, we could have if we wanted to um, let's do right here Dodge truck company if we wanted to we could have print later uh, just click there and we'll just hit save and close hit yes anyways all right so if you go to print checks as you can see it's going to be right in there and you could print that out if you wanted to um, now we go back to our chart of accounts control a and you'll see under fixed assets 25,000 and the parent company has a $25,000 balance as well. So what we need to do is do a recurring journal entry. And how we can do that is we just right click and make general journal entry. Click right there. Uh, you want to take it off adjusting journal entry. Um, and the two accounts that we want to hit is an expense account, which is going to be depreciation expense. Um, I believe it was 84.70. Right, so it's going to be right here. And we're going to hit the contra asset account, um, accumulated depreciation, which is going to be 16.02, I believe. Now. We know that this is a credit balance, so what we want to do is figure out how, how, how much do we want to depreciate it by. Well, a truck we could depreciate over five years. We could go, uh, so it's 25000 divided by five years, or 60 payments, which is, if you're, if you're depreciating, dep depreciating once, once a month, it's going to be 60 payments. So 41667 is what we're looking at. So we debit an expense each month and we uh, credit accumulated depreciation. Um, so how we actually get this to work each month a recurring journal basis is we click on this big button right here memorize. Click on that. We're going to name this uh, this recurring memorized journal entry uh, Okay, and we're going to automate it, automate it transaction entry. How often? We're going to do once a month. We want to do monthly. Uh, we'll go ahead and post this for today, 12-15-2018. 20, Number uh, 16, 60 payments. Now, normally you would post this towards the end of the month. 
uh, just for this sake, we'll just do 12:15 as of today. Days in advance, this will just kind of pop up uh, a box reminding you to post five days in advance. Um, go ahead and click OK, and then save and close. All right. Now, as we look here, you'll see the total balance is 24,583.33, which is basically the net um, from the purchase price minus the depreciation amount equals the uh, total fixed asset amount. Now, if we go down to 8470, which is our expense account, uh, we'll, we'll notice that that's not the right one. Uh, the hit right here, four sixteen sixty seven. So we know that we did it right. Uh, one of the beautiful things about doing it this way is you'll see under the financial reports under the, the balance sheet or income statement um, if we go to balance sheet standard um, under fixed assets you'll see fixed assets and then you'll have those two below it but you can you can just hit that arrow button and you can see that the total balance is right there but it will give you also the description as well so that's how you do recurring journal entries in QuickBooks. Hopefully you learned something and you have a great day. And thank you for watching.